Okay, before I show you how to change the voices in Lamp Words for Life Spanish English, I want to talk about the voices that are included with the Unidad configuration. So if you order an Unidad configured accent device from PRC with the intention of using uh, Lamp Words for Life Spanish English, please know that you'll get two bilingual Spanish child voices, Acapella Emilio and Acapella Valeria. Please also know that the default voices for the Lamp Words for Life Spanish English one hit and full is uh, Emilio. Also note that you'll get two Spanish adult voices, Ivona Penelope and Ivona Miguel. And the difference between the bilingual voice and the, the adult Spanish voice is that the bilingual voice will handle both English and Spanish words and sound the same. The adult Spanish voices uh, of Penelope and Miguel can only uh, pronounce Spanish words correctly. At the time of purchase, customers have the option of adding the a cappella Spanish voice suite for free. However, this must um, be indicated on the equipment selection sheet at the time of uh, purchase. If the device has already shipped, there would be an additional charge for that a cappella Spanish voice suite. So now we are looking at Lamp Words for Life uh, Spanish English the full vocabulary, as I said, the default voice set for these vocabularies is Emilio. If you would like to change the voice to Valeria, you will need to do the following. First, uh, we are going to head into the toolbox and into the speech menu. And at this point, you are going to set the voice to Valeria, so you're going to say, uh, select change voice. Uh, on my emulator software, I don't have the Spanish voices loaded, so I'm just going to pretend that um, this Microsoft Zira voice is Valeria, so I'm going to select that. So that is your first step. The next thing that we need to do is um, head into there's kind of a two-step process. We're going to change the voice on the English side, and then we're going to change the voice on the Spanish side. So the first step of changing the voice on the English side is then we're going to head into the user area menu, and we're going to change the communication language and uh, change that to English. And then we'll say OK and we will um, say OK again. The next thing that we have to do on this toggle key, we need to um, change the programming behind here. So what I'm going to do is um, select this gray wheel and then select the setup key and then select this English key. And you'll see in here um, we have set page English, so it's going to the English side of the vocabulary. And then this is what we need to change. It says set, sorry, voice set temporary acapella Emilio uh, English. This is where we need to uh, voice set temporary acapella Valeria English. Okay, so I'm going to go into here, enter assignment, and uh, delete character. And um, now what I need to do is uh, insert a tool. And the tool is voice set temporary. Right here. And then you will pick um, Valeria at this point. I'm going to pick zero, like I said. And then we're going to say OK and OK again. So we've done the English side. Now we have to do the Spanish side. So I'm going to head back into the toolbox, back to the user area menu, change the communication language to Spanish, say OK. And then now I'm going to hit my English key and I need to reprogram the Spanish toggle key. Select my setup key and then Spanish. Once again, 
I'm going to keep the go to home, but I need to change this. So I'm going to delete that one tool and say insert tool, more items, more items again, uh, voice set temporary. And at this point you would select the Spanish version of Valeria. But once again, for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to select this Dira voice. And then you're going to say OK and uh, OK again. And now uh, you have set the voice to uh, Valeria for both um, English and Spanish.